In this video, we are going to quickly study ammonia refrigeration, a single stage process. Let's start by saying that ammonia is only toxic at certain concentration ranges, values that only occur at points of the installation with leaks, located in enclosed spaces of smaller volume, but before causing any damage, they are detected by safety systems, or even by the human sense of smell. Another important fact relates to the flammability of ammonia, which occurs only with a high ignition source. Installations using ammonia, are robust, made of steel or stainless steel, to avoid corrosion and leakage issues, a factor that significantly influences the higher investment, required for these installations. Provided unnecessary regulatory restrictions, are not introduced, it is expected, that ammonia will be used as a refrigerant in an increasing number of applications. The use of ammonia in the industrial refrigeration sector will expand as regulatory agents verify its functionality and acceptable safety. Let's define a basic single-stage ammonia refrigeration system. The main parts of the single-stage ammonia refrigeration system are 1. Compressor 2. Oil system 3. Condenser 4. Pumps for circulating the refrigerant 5. Evaporator 6. Liquid Vessel 7. Liquid Separator 8. Expansion Valve The main characteristics of single-stage ammonia refrigeration systems are 1. They are used in applications with a single temperature level, for example, water chillers. 2. In most single-stage ammonia systems, the refrigerant is circulated to the evaporators through pumps. 3. There are also some systems with direct expansion valves with ammonia, mainly for applications with small loads. 4. Direct expansion systems with ammonia, are not too common due to their lower efficiency and the difficulties in controlling ammonia superheating at the evaporator outlet. 5. Single-stage systems are used for medium and high temperature levels. 6. It is quite common to install an economizer to improve efficiency. 7. A common defrosting method for ammonia systems is using hot gas that momentarily exits from the compressor discharge to the evaporators to defrost the frost. 8. Hot gas defrosting offers higher energy efficiency than other alternative defrosting methods. To understand the system's operation, let's define each state of the refrigerant. 1. Refrigerant in a state of saturated liquid at low temperature and pressure. 2. Refrigerant in a state of saturated vapor at low temperature. 3. Refrigerant in a state of saturated vapor towards the compressor. 4. Inside the vessel, there is saturated liquid refrigerant and saturated vapor refrigerant. 5. Inlet to the compressor of saturated vapor. 6. Refrigerant outlet as superheated vapor, at high pressure and high temperature. 7. Oil outlet. 8. Refrigerant outlet in liquid state, at room temperature. 9. Liquid vessel. 10. Expansion valve to lower the refrigerant temperature. 